dude phase clan and stuff especially specifically them man like I, there's there's orgs that are good too like 100 thieves but man social media man twitch um youtube maybe to a lesser extent but same thing man the big big people dude hollywood bro not not just like new age shit like old age um it's just dude it's so much people are it's it's just not right man it's not the life you want to live bro um like when you're young like when i was young it's like i i used to think that would be sick now like genuinely it's like dude i feel bad for these people they live such sad lives man like you're literally like a 30 year old named face fucking whatever it is and you're you're just preying on kids and doing crypto scams and shit it's it's insane man like on like it's funny because the best way to put it is if any of these people in a lot of these like spaces like phase clan um if you were their age and you were a normal per like normal in the sense of like you're just doing your thing a lot of times they say it's just because you're jealous but it's really not that man it's it's like genuinely like if they acted like they acted with anyone else their age or you're just chilling like people would be like bro like stop man like what's wrong with you like imagine them doing all this weird cringe shit um you know doing scams like acting like they get the world and like they're not just lucky too because like that's a lot of it is right or just hot or just rich or something like it, it, it it's i don't know man like it, you just lose so much humility man because you gotta like i don't know man you gotta be able to it's just a different world bro like social media and hollywood and shit it's a different world bro um you know they, they they just lost a reality man in a bad way you know like they aren't gonna be as fulfilled it kind of sucks like i was watching too do you guys know who mike malak is um it's funny because i mean i like these people in the sense like they're funny they're entertaining but like let me put it this way he's this guy in logan's paul podcast and like they got in a fight now he's like hanging out with the uh, fucking phase clan and blah 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 basically he just wants a lot of clout and, and like he always talks about like you just got to get the bag and set yourself up for life but no you don't why everyone always says that man it's an interesting discussion everyone always says get the bag set yourself up for life why why man is that all there is to life setting yourself up i get i i get making a little bit of a bag to survive i get making enough to like try and have some security yeah i get that but like why do you have to make a bag to set yourself up for life like no one ever asked that question bro because the more i thought about it too like the older i get i'm like why why is this because people always say that they'll, they'll do something ridiculous they'll be like a 30 year old like mike malak and and they'll be into clout and, and drama and shit and literally shitting on kids or like selling crypto scams and, and and then and then they just get out of it because they're like oh i'm just trying to get the bag man you can't blame me right and everyone always says that but dude i think it's time we straight up we start saying like yeah we should blame you man like no man like you you no, you can't just say i'm getting the bag like i can't just go fucking um, you know, like I can't just go shit on some random, like if I just go shit on some 14 year old kid on the side of the street and tell him he's a loser, but it's, I, but I did it because someone, a millionaire said he'd give me or a billionaire said he'd give me $2 million. Like just because I said, Hey guys, I'm just trying to get the bag. If I get this two mil, I'm set for life. Like I can invest it. I'm good. Like I'll be, I'll go say sorry to the kid, but like, dude, there's more to life than that, bro. You know, hey, like, and, and the older I've gotten too, it's just, like, I just watch these people and I'm like, dude, no man. Like it's insane dude it's that it's that hollywood mentality of like no i'm just getting the bag no man we're i'm just going for clout it's it it's so toxic bro um you know and like because i was watching the rice gum aiden um drama and shit because i keep showing up in my youtube channel because i'm a, i twit i serve a twitch so i have all these twitch things right in this gif um and it's just so sad bro like it's genuinely so sad and a lot of these people are like well i'm the winner in the end because i have 10 million dollars that i made from all this drama and you guys gave me all the money now i get to go retire in the lake house and it's like and like i don't know man maybe it's just my philosophy as i get older like literally that's my response and cool bro you have a fucking lake house dude everyone but you have no respect you sold your soul and dignity to get where you are you know um it's interesting dude. it's interesting set yourself up so it isn't something you need to worry about but i disagree with that entirely i you i agreed with that i've agreed with that my whole life but recently I, i've thought about it more and like definitely not like bro life isn't about setting yourself up it's not even about setting your kids up man if you want to set your kids up don't give them money give them give treat yourself with respect so that your kids treat themselves with respect as well like people don't get that man like raising good a good family and good kids it's not about having money dude having a good wife isn't about having money 
Like set, life isn't about setting your kids up so they don't have to worry about money. It's setting your kids up so that they don't have to worry about money, but not because you're giving them money. Because like you give them the values to not, that not be consumed by that, you know? Um, like, I don't know, man. And no one ever talks about this. But I, I'm, I'm like, I just don't agree. I don't think getting the bag is good at all. I don't think that's a good reason to do anything. Um, I think the only time getting money makes sense is if you literally need it to survive. If you can pay your rent, if you if you can pay your rent, and you can get enough food that you survive every month, done. Then you better not be doing anything for money. Um, and I know it's easier said than done, right? Like if someone walks in my room right now, it's like five million dollars, Frank. You just have to sell out, and you'll have five million dollars and a ton of viewers on Twitch. Um, you know, I guess it's easier said than done, right? Because I'm sure a lot of them would be like, you would do the same in my shoes, which maybe is true. Um, oh no, it's not the end. It's not the end. No, we got a while left. We got at least like an hour left. I just wanted to talk and discuss in between games, right? Because I like doing that in other games so much. I figured in Valorant, we can take a little moment, right? Um, yeah, we got at least another game coming in. We might play another game too today, chat. Um, because my girlfriend's gone this whole weekend. Cry face, bro. So that, that means we get longer streams though. Um, because you know, I, I'm not really doing anything, so um but yeah man like real talk bro L life isn't about that um you know securing a bag or setting yourself up for life is not an excuse um because i don't know man when, when you're sitting on your deathbed bro and, and you look back i don't think it's gonna fucking matter if you set yourself up bro or if you set your kids up because at the end of the day, who cares if your kid has fucking $10 million and they don't have to worry about money if you fucking made them depressed because they don't actually have any values or any goals or, or any belief in themselves, you know? If we're just talking from a family aspect. And I don't know, dude, there's so much more to life. Like straight up, like you can make mistakes, man. Like someone like FaZe Jarvis or something, you know, if you're scamming people, I, that's pretty irre... Ir I, I, that might be something you can't come back from. That's like almost a character trait. You, scamming people is not chill at, at any point in your life, even if you're young. Um, I mean, if you're doing a little thing when you're like five years old, maybe it's just whack. But um, I don't know, man. Like society for some reason, especially with social media, we've just kind of pushed the idea of dignity and self-respect to the side, dude. Like like there's girls in hot tubs, right, that are, that are sitting... And just being sexual to underage kids, right? Um, and they say, hey, I'm getting the bag. Fuck you. Like, dude, I, I was watching this Devin Nash. I haven't talked about him in a while, but I was watching a Devin Nash video, uh, an old one. And he was talking to Amaranth, and he was giving her so much respect. Um, and, and in one sense, I get it, because she works very hard. And you have to respect that hustle. And she is smart, and she's a good businesswoman, right? She's making money. But, but I don't respect Amaranth. Because, and I don't know why we're supposed to act like we should. I don't know why we sh are supposed to act like we respect a lot of these guys in face clan. Like, getting the bag and selling your soul, dude, that's not something you should respect. Like, we should be respecting people that, if anything, didn't make the bag, but they but they didn't because they didn't sell their soul, bro. Um, we look up to all these people, especially with survivorship bias, that are so successful, and a lot of them are so scummy in so many ways, man. Um... And, and and like I said, you know, crypto scams, preying on kids, whether that's with something sexual or something aggressive or fake drama um, or real drama that, you know, you shouldn't be having when you're that old, man. Like, you got to grow up, right? Like, as a society, we've like slowly like turned away from respecting those that deserve respect. Um, it, it's interesting, man. It's, it's so interesting. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, I truly feel like it's that way, though. I mean, I agree that you shouldn't just give money to your kids, but if you can accure more wealth so it's not a burden on yourself, so you just focus on things like family and friends, give an extra eight hours per day to spend with loved ones in my, my eyes, but the way you get that money needs to be ethical. Scam, theft, etc. cetera, def not. Working hard is the way to go. Yeah, yeah, I think we partially agree there. I 100% agree with the last part of that statement, um, but I think I disagree with the first part. I, I don't think life should be about um, get the bag and secure your family so your kids don't have to worry about money. I don't think that's what it's about. I think it should be about like loving and respecting just other people and having humility, working your ass off, finding, you know, doing the best you can. But like life shouldn't be about getting the bag. Um, Cause like, what does that even mean to secure yourself? Because if anything, dude, we, we, you know, we've been doing this whole society thing for so long, man. What does that even mean to secure you and your family with millions of dollars? That doesn't secure shit. Your, your daughter might be depressed as fuck with bipolar. Your son might be super sad, bro. Your wife might want to leave you. 
the money doesn't mean shit. Like it really doesn't. Like you need to make enough to, to live and eat and support yourself. And you want to make just enough that, yeah, hopefully you can retire. But I don't, I don't know, man, unless you're literally starving and, and you need to live and that, that should be your number one priority than making money and surviving. I don't think the more, the older I've more, the older I've gotten and the more I've grown up, man, life shouldn't be about getting a bag. Like I'm not just going to do scummy things or, or kind of give away my values and what I truly am passionate about, what I truly love just for money, man. Um, you know, and <laughs> I, maybe I'm wrong, right? Maybe I would sell my soul for a lot of money. I can't say because I haven't been offered millions. Um, but but the older I've gotten, man, the more I truly feel that way. Like life is not about like the, there's this there's this really I guess there's this idea that it's really valiant to kind of sell your soul a little bit, but make so much money and and set yourself up for life and set your family up for life and get that bag. But why? Like seriously, think about that. Why? You know what I mean, chat? Why? Why is that? Why is that respectful? Why do we respect that? Really think about that. Why?